Hello everybody, it's Alex here, bringing you our second episode of Bad Aim Inc. at the Round Table, our new series where we answer your questions left in the comments of our video or on our channel, or a private message, or we discuss our topics that we come up by ourselves. So, let's get this thing started. So, first topic today, I wanted to discuss, here's an idea I had, Desert Island, one thing you can bring, what would it be, and why? Pretty typical. Okay, so... I'll start this one off. Okay, yeah. Probably because mine is the most dumbass answer. Okay, okay. I'd bring, like, a nice $2,000 Alienware uh, laptop, because if I'm on a desert island... Wouldn't you want to go on Minecraft and go on a desert island yourself, and yeah. then you could, like, recreate it and figure out what you need? <laughs> yeah. Makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. It actually does. Okay. It wouldn't be there. Yeah, except, except you have to find, like, obsidian and diamond and all that stuff. That's not there. But, uh, I would probably... I would bring... Uh, I would... Definitely bring a crafting table. <laughs> you you could do wonders with that thing. <laughs> this has turned into a complete Minecraft oriented question. Minecraft no, no, mania. Uh, okay. I'm probably the only smart one in this group, and I would bring a radio, and so I would. Actually, you're stupid because you're not gonna get any reception on a desert island, and you can't bring any CDs. You got like a one bar on a desert island. Come yeah. on now. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have a government top secret phone thing that gets reception out anywhere. So ha, Christian. Oh, okay. Okay, see the thing the problem with this question is that the biggest drawback of a, being in a desert is the lack of water. But if it's a desert island, an island is classified as being surrounded by water. But it's salt. So, bring a salt purifying machine. Yeah, gosh, Tyler. <laughs> Christian, you freaking said a crafting table. <laughs> you could craft a salt purifying machine. Yeah, how do you make that, huh? How do you make that? Um, iron, iron ingots and redstone. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. And amalgam. Yeah. So, yeah, second topic. So, this was asked by one of our fans, I don't know who, but, uh, favorite commentator and why? Okay. You should start this one off. I think we're going to have similar answers on this one. <laughs> no, mine's, mine's going to be out of the ordinary. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go last because mine's going to... Okay. Of... I guarantee you yeah. yours is T. Martin. No. No. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Although, um, although Woody... I would say... Okay, Tyler. I enjoy White Boy commentating, but I like Woody's gameplay better. Yeah. I mean, Woody has really, like... I'm, White Boy is just where I, like, he's where I started just commentating with, and he's what made me want to do this, and all that good inspirational stuff, but Woody, he's been rising up in the ranks, I've re recently really started watching his videos and stuff, but White Boy, he's still my favorite. Mine's gonna be out in the open, because he, he doesn't put out the most gameplay, because he's not an adult, it's not his full-time job. Well, I just love listening to Chris Smoove because oh, he yes. has all these sayings yes, that just like Chris make me smile yeah. when I hear them. My favorite one is um On is the, the splash when he's like splash or um Chris or the Chris Move, Move crossover. Not. Chris Smoove crossover. I don't know. I just I really enjoy his commentary. Or or Alex's uh, favorite stuff. Yeah. Jay Z. Yeah. It's prime time. Okay. So, our next topic, this is not, it's kind of a topic, but a lot of fans have been asking us about this, but it's dual commentaries with fans. It wouldn't be dual, really. Well, yeah. Wouldn't you at least want Trey, us? Trey quad, quad commentaries? <laughs> is that even legal? Uh, I don't know. Check the rule book on that one. Yeah, yeah. Should look it up in the rule book. But I don't, this, it would be, I mean, once we start growing a lot more, I think it would be a lot fun to maybe, like, do a series where we pick a fan or something. And I actually. I think also, it'll be a lot easier once we, I know 
I looked up how to do it. We just need to get some of the yeah. materials to set it up so we can record, like, party chats. Yeah, but, yeah, like, I actually just kind of thought of that idea, but, yeah, like Alex was saying, we do need to get the material, and we will be getting the materials because we're going to be getting, like, money and stuff, but I know Alex is saving up for a laptop and stuff. Tyler, what do you think? Uh, well, it would help. It wouldn't, it's going to be more confusing, but it's going to be a cool thing that most commentators, big or small, don't do. Because if you look at, I'm not trying to hate on Woody, T. Martin, White Boy, uh, Chris Smoove. They don't play with subscribers. Like, they do, but they don't include them, like, talking-wise. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Woody's de- definitely gotten better about yeah, that. Yeah, with like, the, like, can, live streams. He has, like, three or four a week. His now. live streams, yeah, but they he, used they to be have... a lot, like, mostly, like, sometimes in his old ones, you could only hear him talking. Yeah. But I think he's, um, did, he's uh, gone through a big step to make sure um, that you can hear the other people talking and it's more, like, communication. Yeah. And so I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Is that, that, yeah, it is really fun, and I, Just I, you know, I'm not trying to hate on any of them. Yeah, yeah, but, like, I do want to eventually get into, like, get into a game with Woody, because I, that would be awesome, not, and, like, Tyler with you screwing around I'd with, rather, I'd rather be against than, like, pull out a small, and just, like, just make him say shucks. <laughs> make Woody say shucks. Okay, so, we got ourselves clear on this topic. So, pretty much, we'll do it when we get a little bigger and once we get the materials and stuff. But, and our next topic, I made a video about this this week. But, we did get a lot, I did get a lot of feedback on it. And, I want to know what you guys think. But, reoccurring dreams. What do you I gotta guys start think? This one. Okay. I got to. I oh, hate, come on, Alex. Let me do I this. Bet you, you got, you got I bet you a lot of people have had this dream. But, this one annoys me so much. It just makes me kind of like mm, when you're almost asleep you're on the brink of being fast asleep and you shake awake because in your dream you were falling and you shook awake right before you hit the ground yeah. the worst one ever i hate that oh like my God. i was saying how i had a dream where i was being chased by a yeti and i jump into a <laughs> bottomless pit and i'd wake up right as i was like about to hit the ground or well, then it wasn't bottomless. Well, yeah, something like that. But, uh, yeah, Tyler, what about you? Uh, I really don't have a lot of reoccurring dreams, but I've actually been having one, like, every day this week because I have been scared. This kind of sounds stupid. My my sister got very mad at me because I was <laughs> making fun of her with her ex-boyfriend, which is pretty funny because oh, the mom's actually set up a date, which is <laughs> gay. Oh, it's a gay. Male. Yeah. But, so she got so mad at me because I told one of my really good friend's mom and she kept saying, oh, I wonder if she, uh, he'll bring mistletoe <laughs> and all that. And so Peyton actually tried to, she took a butcher knife and tra- actually tried to stab me. <laughs> I did not enjoy that. Okay, like, yeah. I had to, like, grab her wrists, like, pry it out of her hands, and, like, pick her up and, like, throw her. I'm pretty sure no one here would enjoy uh, trying to get stabbed by their sister. But... See, we've met your sister. She yeah. weighs, like, three and a half Yeah, it's pretty sure. much, yeah. I know, that's how really I picked her like up, but, like, okay, imagine this. She has, like, a whole bit <laughs> of metal, sharp knife. Disarm her, brethren. Okay, we got to hear this up. Fair okay. enough to you, fair enough. Fair enough, yeah. Okay, so last topic of the night, favorite movie. Favorite movie. I'm going to start this one off. But I never really knew this answer until I saw Harry Potter Part 2. <laughs> favorite movie of that all time. Amazing. It was great. I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, we all we all went to see it. It was a yeah. great night. It was a great night. Madness. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. It's your favorite, just because you gotta spend it with the bros. Yeah. We with had a, we with had a the great bros, night it, it was great. It was great. But a lot anyway. Of cops there. Friends, brother <sighs> stealing a Harry Potter. And one of our friends trying to sneak into a 3D movie. Mhm. Mm-hmm. That did not work out very well. Mhm. No, no. Well, anyways, guys, we are coming to an end here. 
We really hope you enjoyed this week's episode of BAI at the Round Table. Sorry we have to cut this one short, and me and Tyler don't get to answer this question. We're just trying to figure, we're starting to figure this out, and so right now we only have about 10 minute gameplays to go behind it, our commentary, but as we progress, we'll get longer gameplays as, as we get more topics and get more comfortable. And our time is up, so anyways, guys, see ya.